time for your Bitcoin and altcoin daily crypto update with Framework Fortune. As you can see, I'm currently in a train. I'm fixing to lock this out and then we'll dive into the charts. I got in here at 376 on CGLD. Looking forward to break 385, but it is struggling, so I'm about to just take it here. Yep, taking it there. So let's see where did I get filled at. Got out of there at 382. So a little five cent scalp there. So very nice. All right, on to the charts. So Bitcoin and the crypto markets took a big dump today, but the markets are pretty volatile right now. So there is some good scalping that you can get on some of these dip buys. That's what I was doing at the beginning of the video. This was a lot bigger drop than I expected, but I have been saying that I'm weary of Bitcoin the last couple of weeks. And if it broke that 45,000 area and that 40,000 area, that it could get really ugly. And it broke all of that, including the 20 day moving average. And it dropped all the way down to 30,000 this morning, which if you was a very skilled trader or investor, you might have picked it up there and you would already be up $7,000 on it because it has rebounded that hard. This is a lot of volatility we are seeing. At the moment though, Bitcoin, I don't really have a prediction, just kind of want to see if it's going to hold up in this area. This bottom 30,000 area was support back here and is seeming to hold as support here as well. At this point, Bitcoin just has to stabilize and then maybe it can go on another run or it could move sideways for a while. And Ether, Ether pulling back as well. I mean, the whole market pretty much did. It actually cracked below the trend line but pushed all the way back up it. So as long as Ethereum closes this candle above the trend line, then Ethereum should continue to climb up. That is a weekly candle. Let's take a look on the 4-hour. Yeah, so there's the trend line. So you can see every time it's come close, it's been pushed up, being bought up off of that 22-2300 area. I like this buy area if it can hold above this trend line for another day and then start to make its way back up. This could be a knee-jerk reaction. We have a whole lot of people who have recently come into the crypto markets and the little Elon Musk shenanigans and combined with the Reddit and the Facebooks and all of that. Basically, you get these type of drops because people will over panic. They will panic and lose, think they're going to lose their whole account, which they may have. Now, I do want to point out, though, if you bought up here on Ether at $4,400 or you bought on Bitcoin at $55,000, $60,000, $65,000, you're buying these way up high. Back here was last May, so in a year, you know, you were buying pretty much at the top. If you look at the chart and you're buying way up here, that's probably not the best place to be buying at. If you just got into cryptos, you know, you got to learn what you're doing first before you just dive head in because you will get these volatile swings in the market and they will hurt. So you have to be prepared and know how to react when this happens. But pretty much everything we look at is going to look the same as of right now. Everything just all got destroyed by that big drop on Bitcoin all the way down the chart. I mean, this is a bloodbath. So at this point, we just got to look for support areas. I mean, this EOS, this could be a good buy at 583 I mean, this was just up at $15. So you can see buyers have come in on this trend line right here and bought it up multiple times as these candles have these wicks on them. Now my plan is, is just to keep scalping these small bounces and dips until we stable out. But it does look like we may have hit a bottom here. We'll see. It usually takes a couple of days for it to level out and confirm a bottom, but this was a massive enough pullback in the whole entire crypto market. I think it was a I think it was a good enough correction. If it's not we and we go lower, then we're all getting hoodooed somehow. <laughs> As always, I appreciate everybody joining me. Stay safe out there. Till next time.